Hello and welcome to Tier Fun. I'm Andrew, your guide through modern, and today we're running through uh, another modern league with Opt. Um, kind of wanted to test out Opt in as many shells as it'll fit, and this list comes brought to you by someone with a bit more street cred than I'd have. Uh, this is a Tom Ross Infect list, so uh, if any of you guys out there are familiar with Tom Ross, you know he is synonymous with Infect. Um, Infect's kind of fallen off as of late, but uh, whenever Tom puts out, uh, whenever Tom puts out a list for anything, I listen. I, I think he's a he's got a good mind for magic, especially aggressive magic, and when he's especially listening to him when he puts out a list for Infect, and also with Opt because Opt is a card that I think is a lot of nice brewing space for something so innocuous. Um, so yeah, Tom's list is. I guess relatively standard for how um, how Infect has been looking these days. He's got a Spell Skype main deck, uh, Dissenters Deliverance main deck. This actually blew me out in one of my affinity matchups the other day. Um, I realized after thinking about it and after building this deck that um, I think it's there A, because it cycles, fuels your Become Immenses, and B, uh, to get Chalice for one uh, without getting... You know, there's an answer main deck for it. Um, I think let's join this match. Um, the sideboard is the main deck is 99.9 percent. .9%. Tom ran an extra land. I'm running uh, Dissenters Deliverance over that. He had this in the sideboard. Over that in the sideboard, I'm running Tezzeret's Gambit. It's a spicy one. Uh, and let's just jump right into the league. Uh, I need to start keeping keeping track of unkeepable first hands I get in leagues because it feels like we're getting a lot of them. Um, I think with a scry this hand's all right. Obviously we're in need of a land, but we have Hierarch. We got to bottom anything that isn't a land. Um, this could be interesting. This could be... Um, This could be a lot of things. I'm thinking it might be affinity, a weird affinity list, though. Okay, it's definitely not affinity. All right, well, I have not played against turn one Bomat Courier in modern. So it's a burn list? Yeah, okay. If they bolt us, we're in trouble. But we're gaining three life. All we have to do is draw an island or fetch and vines will be able to protect our agent. It'd be nice to deliver that. Whoa, okay, this could be a quick one, guys. So, um, like, we're hoping opponent, as always, hope they have air in their hand, um, but even if they do in this situation, they could just pop the courier after getting in for another damage. So as always, the uh, tried and true advice for magic, bolt the bird coming through. It's not a bird, but you know, you get it. So these are only two basic forests in the whole deck. Um, maybe this was a bit of a risky keep. I feel like it's all right. Okay, all right, we're in business. Technically, we're even safer now because I can just straight up vines. I would love for them to cast it. Something on this Infector. Fuel our graveyard for these two Become Immenses. Um, Piracy Charm might be able to get... If they tap out, I might Piracy Charm. I really just need cards to be in the graveyard. Piracy Charm, I think Tom's got it in there for its utility. Um, it does... Okay. It does a lot of things uh, medium. And it also fuels Delve. So if they have another burn spell here, we are just going to lose. But we were going to... Okay, okay. We're not losing. Um, so three, four, five, six, six, seven. 
Dang. If we had just... If this hierarch had lived one turn, we would have been able to... We would have been in a whole lot better position. Um, so they just tapped red-green, and now they're moving to combat. To me, that signifies... Um, teamer... Not teamer. Oh, gosh. Drawing a blank again, because I'm trying to think of a way out of this. But... uh. Plus one, plus one to the creatures, and three to the dome. That is three, four, five. Um, if we block, they're just going to sack. I, I don't think we can block, because I, I think they have that card. They don't have that card. They were trying to bait me. Nice. Ooh. So we're going to get this courier. All right, we're actually in a good spot now. The tables have turned. Um, I could get risky and cast a peek here. But yeah, uh, Piracy Charm, you've probably never played with it before. I've played with it a few times, but you can get Island Walk. You can pump something of yours that's already been pumped, or you can kill one toughness creatures or have them discard a card. Um, one, two, three, four, five, so... We're just going to hope we're not dead next turn and hope we can win. So we still need to draw a pump spell, actually. So we're not in the best spot. Hmm. Okay, and so now we draw, let's see, assuming, well, opponent hasn't played a land, we'll see what they've got. We need. I think we need to draw an Infector this turn. Yeah, we do, or else we lose, because he's just going to be able to crack us for three twice. Tarkus Command, that's the one, not Teamer Command. So, three, six, seven, we are almost dead. Well, no, we are 100% dead, sorry. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Um, I guess I guess we'll force them to cast it. But if you're on a time crunch, just skip ahead to game two. This one's over. I mean, there's a chance they're afraid of one green mana. But I don't think they're going to be. Yeah. Okay. Got me. Ooh, they gave themselves reach. Spicy. Okay, so in a matchup like this, I think we want Dispel. Oh, also, Tom was running the new search for Azcantra, I believe. The, it's a similar effect. I didn't have searches, and um, this is also good maybe in this burn matchup because of the mana taxing. Um... Nissa is a, a nice spicy one. Both effects are actually pretty good in post-board games. Um, it's a pump spell on an empty board, and it buys you a lot of time. And also creates an alternative win condi condition if you can create enough tokens and pump them. Um, Arbor might actually be good too. I don't, despite how that game played, I'm not sure we want sanctuaries. I think we just want to be. I think we just want to be quick. Um, we can take out Piracy Charm for Dispel, for sure. Uh, Dissenter's Deliverance also for Dispel. Um, this seems good. Dismember, maybe we want to just be more balls to the wall. Maybe we take out Dismember for a Dryad Arbor, because they're going to be, they're going to be shocking themselves a ton. Hmm. Don't, this is tough. I think I think I'm just gonna make the uh, intuitive sideboarding, at least intuitive for me, and not change too much. Um, in fact, especially this list, which is just stone cold new to me, is is a a new ish archetype for me to play with. Much like a lot of the ones I've been playing on stream. Um, 
So I don't think we can keep this hand. We need, we have mana, we have Pendlehaven, which is nice, and we have Hierarchs, but we don't have an Infect, and we don't have blue to dig for Infect. Unfortunately here, we get maximum punished, and we're going to have to mulligan again. And this game is not looking too hot. So, I'd be interested to see what you guys think about that first hand. I think... I think if you have a fetch land, you have to keep it because it gives you access to peaks uh, cycling, basically. But I, I think it's, uh, I know, I guess maybe Hierarch gives you access to blue. Maybe that was a keep. Yeah, I don't know. We really just needed. A better hand game one. These sideboard games are going to be rough. Um, so we've got a mulligan this. Opponent thought for a while. Uh, okay, this is about as good of, good of a five as you can expect. We're going to keep that on top too. We're just going to hope to protect. Which means we have to play this on turn three to hold up protection. Um... Also, if opponent couriers, just a spike, that's fine. I was going to say, if opponent couriers, um, I'd have to... Th oh, I didn't sideboard in Dry Darver, so no, I wouldn't have to think about it. I didn't, right? Did you sideboard? Yeah, there it is. Um, so I know I said I want to play it, I think, yeah. Because if it dies, I mean, we're just dead. We're not fetching because we want to draw land. Oh, this looks like... All right, well, now that we draw, drew a second one, I think, we'll, I think we'll play it out. This is not going well, though. I'm hoping it's Boros Charm in hand and not Searing Blaze. I guess that saves us a life if it is Searing Blaze. Okay. Boros Charm, asking ye shall receive. This is Searing Blaze. Yeah. This is going to be a quick one. We have to draw land here. Rift Bolt. Okay. All right. So opponent, I imagine, is going to be obliged to try to burn this. We're going to vines again. And then hope we get two turns of breathing room, basically. Where are you target? Where's that target going? Face? Okay. So dollars to donuts, they've got another... Uh, Targeted burn spell in hand, so we'll see if we can draw it out here. I mean, drawing it out is good, but we need we need something that deals infect damage here. Yep, okay. Helix, not the worst. So we just saved six burn. We'd be at one right now. Yeah. I mean, opponent's probably got another burn spell in hand, but it feels like yeah, they didn't even play a land. Um, this turns on Searing Blaze, but, you know, what else are we going to do in this situation? Ooh, I guess, hang on. We could attempt to save it. What does that do? Nothing. Right? One, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we get one more in the yard. So we'll have three in the yard. Four, five, six. Um, they seem to be inclined to burn our guys over our face. Like we would be we would be dead right now if they'd if they tried to burn us. So maybe 
Maybe they're going to feel like they need to burn the hierarchy again. I don't know. I don't know what our out is. But, okay. Ink Ma, that's a great draw. So, um, yeah. I could attack and then remove it. I think we have to save it for the Ink Moth, though. Man, both of these games have been real tight. Sure. Is there another bolt? No. Two cards in hand for opponent. If there are two burn spells, we are basically donezo. If there's one burn spell, we're basically done, so. So, Searing Blaze, that'll put us to one. Um, I don't think we have an out if we go to one. I think, so, huh. Because then we just have, like, our best draw is another Become a Man, so we won't have enough fuel, I think. I think we've got to save this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Crap. So, yeah. So we're still going to one, and we still basically have zero outs because this has menace. If this didn't have menace, we'd be able to block here, but alas. Wait, did it already deal the damage? Did they not have a land? They didn't have a land? They didn't save their fetch. Okay, I missed that. Well, it looks like we're dead anyways. Yeah, that's too bad. Okay, well, this is a... This is the roller coaster that is Infect. Um, we're kind of... We're testing this out to see how good it is in this online... in the meta in general, and maybe... If Opt, what has Opt done for us lately? Um, we kind of got steamrolled there, both those games. But in Magic and in life, it is good to try to not be results-oriented. Um, I don't think there were... I don't think there were really any decision points. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm kind of in the thick of it right now, so... I'll, I might be able to think of one later. I don't think there's any decision points we could have made to have won that game. Maybe in sideboarding. But... Actually, the way that game shaped out, Shaper Sanctuary would have been very good. Um, so perhaps I was supposed to board it in there. Um, this is this is all right. This is exactly like that. I guess yeah, that is the one decision I should have made. Is I should have kept that first hand in game two. That was fine. Okay. So. Probably Black White Eldrazi or Abzan here. This is going to be dollars to donuts. Quote me on that, uh, Thoughtseize. Um, so they take our agent. I think that is a fine take. Hoping to strand us with our pump in hand, what meager amounts we have. So far, Tom's... Uh, Two peaks strategy, I'm not loving. <laughs> uh, I'm actually, I'm sure it's phenomenal in a lot of mat in most matchups, actually. But um, we've been light on lands. You know, if this was a fetch land, maybe, maybe the real lesson here is to never question the boss and to run the ninth fetch land, because yeah. All right, we're gonna peek. See how dead we are. Um, Lingering Souls. Okay, actually, we are pretty fine. Lingering Souls is incredibly annoying, but that's probably they took Blight Agent. Well, that you know, any other reasons, but we can we can grind through a Souls. Um, play this Hierarch, and um, I think we'll just pass. We're going to cycle the dissenter's deliverance. Uh, 
Um, I really just wanted to... Ooh. All right. Maybe we have the alternate strategy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. They have to not block. Um, but yeah, I was saving the deliverance to um, maybe get a walking ballista. Okay. Um, let's see. We attack with both. We get 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, we won't be able to get the Krosa because they're going to block. Um, hmm. 6, 10. I feel like... I feel like this is close. What can we peek into? Because they're going to play Lingering Souls next turn. So we need, if we can win this turn, it'd be great. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two, we have enough mana for everything. Huh. Well, um, maybe they just don't block. Because if we use, if this was a ground swell, we would win, I think. But if we use Might of Old Crow, so there's no reason for an opponent to not block. They're probably going to block anyways. And if we attack with both, then, I mean, we would, I don't think we would have enough without the Exalted Triggers. Don't block, don't block, don't block, don't block. All right, they blocked. Um, we're going to fetch a breeding pool just so we don't draw it here. Okay. Ooh, Liliana. So Liliana and Relic. And Lingering Souls. So they have a lot of good options against us next turn. They're probably going to Liliana Thought no Liliana Relic? No, they're probably gonna Lingering Souls Thought Seize. I think that's what I would do. Well, there's a land. Um so we have we're just gonna use Krosa here. Um, if we draw, we have, a, we have another land to activate Groundswell, and, uh, ooh, interesting, Tectonic Edge. Relic? Okay. So they want to pop the Relic? Liliana. Okay, um, I think we win. Sure. So 6, 10, 11. No, we don't quite win. We're close, though. Pandalhaven, unfortunate. Ah, oh, man. So, hmm. Man, we were so close. Oh, I didn't even think about Pendlehaven being legendary. That's a bit of a pun. Um, so we can put them to two. I think it's better just to use the Become Immense because they're going to crack Relic eventually. Um, they're going to have to discard. We can't... We just have to hope to draw something that makes us unblockable next turn. I think that's our actual only out. Um, no, that's not our only out. I played a land this turn, didn't I? That's a punt. If I did, huh? Let's look. I knew they had thought seeds too. Yeah, I don't think. 
I think we were close in game one, but I don't think we were winning it. They did take two, though. Let's attack you. Sure. We're going to play it out, but this game... This game is very going to be incredibly hard to win. Oh, they don't even have to. Well, we'll force them to minus two. Yeah, that's the right play. So yeah, we could have drawn um, Distortion Strike, but that wouldn't have done enough damage. So now... Wow. That seems a little aggressive. You, you have Lingering Souls. I mean, they're winning this game anyways, but... So now we're kind of hoping... Sure. Relic is so annoying to play against. Just because of having to click. Alright. Man, if this is a Dryad Arbor, let's see. Let's see if it would win if this is a Dryad Arbor. Sure. Um, opponent needs to, to win if this is a Dryad Arbor. Opponent needs to not attack with Shambling Vent. Needs to not attack with Shambling Vent. Both tap out of the mana required. Okay, yeah. That, yeah, <laughs> that was a lot of hoops to jump through. Still, it might still win if they if he attacks with both. Okay. They probably have a path here, but let's just see. We don't have Dryad Arbor, but let's assume I'm fetching a Dryad Arbor. Yes, yes, opponent. I really love playing online. But Relic of Progenitus is the one thing that I really don't like about online. <laughs> it almost makes me, it almost pushes me to paper. Okay, so yeah, they, they would have had a path for, oh no, they didn't have a path. Interesting. So we might have won there if we had a main deck Dryad Arbor. That's something to stew on. This is the matchup that you want Dryad Arbor in for. Um, anything with Ileana, yeah, you got me. Feels kind of interesting that opponent didn't want to play their second Lingering Souls. That's like, besides Liliana, that's their best card against us. So we're going to have to bring in a lot of sideboard cards. This is a rough matchup. Blossoming Defense. Okay, what do we need to do here? We have to draw... We have to draw something with Infect. Um, so we draw an Infector. We... I just don't, I don't, I don't, I can't see it out. So we can't draw Ink Moth. Ink Moth would be good. They only attack, they must have something big here. And something big it was. Okay, so this is a straight-up black-white control. Interesting. Okay. So opponent's going to go for the tectonic edge on their turn if they're smart. Maybe the real decision point, yeah. Now we get to block too. Um, 
we're going to Pendlehaven. Get our value. Just try to attack opponent. Just try. So that was a cute play, but in the grand scheme of things, it does absolutely nothing for us. We are dead on board. Magic Online's a little bit laggy today. People must be really grinding those Ixalan cues. So they, yeah, yeah, we're done. I get it. You win. You win, opponent. Okay. So this card seems good. This, well, this card seems potentially, whoop, potentially good. This card seems good. This card seems great. Um, Tezzeret's Gambit seems potentially good. Um, do we want spells over spell pierce? I think Liliana is enough of a burden that we don't want spell pierce. I mean, we don't want to spell over spell pierce. Um, Piracy Charm can go. Sandra's Deliverance can go. I think it may be vines. I think we, I think we're gonna. This match is gonna be. They had main deck graveyard hate actually. So let's take out two commences. Um, growth is probably medium. I'll put it here. Might groundswell. So we have five to take out. Five we want in. This is, I think we, seven is a lot of cards to bring in, I imagine. Um, so we could rid ourselves of a mutagenic growth and a dismember, I suppose. What do they have that we want to dismember? Probably not much. Okay, actually, no, this seems all right. Um, we could also bring in these cards. Whoop. I think the only way we bring in Dispel is if we perhaps shave a Hierarch. Because we're on... I think we might want to do that on the draw. I don't think we want to do that on the play. And it's really which of these two, I think. Well, it's actually which of these two. If... Okay, we're going to not run the Gambit. If they had Pro... Um, and they might show me that they do if they have a uh, Chalice of the Void. Proliferate is actually surprisingly great against Chalice. Um, so we shall keep this uh, solely on the strength of Shaper's Sanctuary. Um, I could very easily be inclined to lead on any one of those two guys, any one of these three cards, but this is a matchup where Shaper's Sanctuary should shine. Wow, I'll say that 10 times fast. Shaper's Sanctuary should shine. So we're gonna lose one of these to a discard spell, more than likely. I assume it's gonna be our elf, but they might try to mana screw us. Okay, good. Um, we have to play the Stride Arbor. Just for land. It's unfortunate. You never want to draw your Dryad Arbor. You want to fetch into it. Next turn we're going to Siege and hope hope to win a long, grindy one. Their Knight's Whispering. That's good. Ooh. Speaking of long, grindy ones. Undo. What? Okay. Um... So, what's better here? Drawing a card or taxing them? I think we're going to tax them, actually. Yeah. Reason being, uh, they have to spend three mana to use one one mana spell. And we get to draw a card. Um, this blows, but... Yeah, we have Hierarch out already, so... Not the worst. If Shaper's Sanctuary triggered for when they target, targeted permanents, 
It would be a million times better. So we're going to peek. Hopefully peek into a land. Ruined Halo. Okay, that's going to be annoying. Actually, okay, we're actually... We've got some game against this one. Um, we're just going to attack. we got to draw lands, though. So they're going to play Halo. They don't play Halo, and we don't draw lands. We're going to play Agent. We just got to develop to the board. Agent's great. Um, I'm sure they're going to Halo the Agent, but that's okay. They're going to Halo something. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, if he'd, they just straight up, I think they wanted to just destroy my land. Like, ooh, we all have to attack? Well, I'm just going to tap those for mana, get in, yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Ooh, Pendlehaven too. Awesome. So, 2-2. Two, two. Um, hmm. So the decision here is, um, do we want to get in for, do we want to use our Become Immense or our Blossoming Defenses? If they, they didn't have, yeah, so, hmm. Blossoming defense is such a blowout, though. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use become immense because they do have graveyard hate. Well, hang on. So this is a tip ticking time bomb. Target creature. And if we get to counter. A targeted removal spell with a blossoming defense, we get to draw a card, and they had to basically spend their entire turn on it. So they're going to Halo the Agent. Land into Carrion Call, and we're doing fine. That's unfortunate. we don't have a land, we're just attacking with Dryad Arbor and pumping it. Um, do we want to do that anyways? Put off Carrion Call for a turn? Because we really do... No, I think, I think we're, we're putting... We don't want to put too many eggs in the non-damage basket. Or in the damage basket. We're just great here. It's unfortunate they haven't drawn any of their one-for-one -one removals. But we can fight through souls with what we have. Pendlehaven by itself is great. Attack. Please attack. Okay. We really need to draw an Ink Moth. Opt is fine. Infect creature. Land. Do we want to land? At this point, we do not. We get it anyways. Um, so I could attack with everything. Yeah, let's, let's attack with everything and see what happens. Dryad Arbor is not going to get blocked. They're going to, they're going to block. Ooh, what is this? Shambling fan. Onboard trick. I still don't think anything is going to get blocked. Let's see. So. 
So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna blow through all of our stuff here. Do we want? I think we're good with Dryad Arbor. Um, maybe not. Yeah, we're good with Dryad Arbor getting killed. I could have saved it there. Ooh, another shambling vent. That's good for them. So now, ooh, hoo, 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 we're doing it. We're doing it. So they don't have target on removal, or they would have used it. Um. There's no reason not to attack with both. Yeah, there is. I just really don't want to run into a Blessed Alliance, but that would feel so bad. Wow, okay. We've connected. We've connected. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We finally get some daylight. I feel like we've been just having it put to us this whole, this whole league. That's a good sign. It's a great sign. Um, we're gonna attack with both. It's the same damage. And I I didn't Pendlehaven this guy, so Yep, that's fine. No reason to blossoming defense. Uh, it's not lethal, and it's not in response to a spell. Okay, so I want to set a prior set a stop here because I do just want to attack with one this time, right? Um, because that'll be two, one, two, three. Four, five. No, we can attack with both. We're holding this fetch for uh, landfall. When your opponent draws twice as many, <laughs> uh. Magic Online. Ooh, another one. Um, so we should have obviously Pendlehavened, but It didn't end up mattering. That's obviously the best play there. I just didn't do it. Um, um, hmm. So we're going to be on the draw. So I think how I boarded is better for being on the draw, not necessarily the play. I think uh, next time I'd probably keep in at least mutagenic growth. I think going down on become immense is a good strategy. They obviously have a lot of graveyard hate. Um, Maybe keep a Vines as well, so maybe remove Monastery Siege, maybe both of these guys. But uh, on the draw, I like I like this this plan a lot. Grindier, in fact. Headly played, but okay. <laughs> uh, yes, I know. Thank you for the advice, opponent. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this one as well. I'm sure they're gonna have discard turn one, and whatever they don't take, we'll play. I'd like to like to play sanctuary, but I have a feeling they're gonna take it.
They took Alf. Okay. So that, to me, says they're not very afraid of the sanctuary. But with this hand, I think that's how we're accruing value. That's how we're going to win in the long run, is by getting that to trigger as much as possible. Um, I could very easily play Hierarch here, but if they have a one mana removal spell, we're back to square one, or basically square zero. So I'm sure they're taking the Agent here. They could also take the Hierarch. This is Liliana. Fulminator, we're alive. All right. Really, really need opponent to have some targeted removal spells. So I could have very, very much misread the matchup based off of game one. I assumed they were going to be chock full with paths and pushes. Oh, opponent, you shouldn't have done that. Wow, we really needed to draw those two cards because if we weren't getting anything, we need, we need something. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we need here is a land. I'm sure I am 100% positive they will not plus again. We need a land to be able to play this carry and call. Wow, okay. So we could draw into um, Vines of the Vastwood here. That would be great. Um, so we're going to try to opt into it. Right? We could Spell Pierce. That taps them down, but they have one card in hand. Come on, Vine. Ooh, Blossoming Defense. There it is. So now if they don't want to lose their Gideon, they're going to have to pay the Iron Price and make me draw two more cards. Well, no, they're not going to... It's Hexproof now, of course, obviously. They, they can't do that. So we just drew two cards and didn't see a land again. That's great for when we start drawing lands, but it's not great for when we need lands. So Op showed off its stuff right there. Um... So we can attack into Gideon. We're really just gonna get. Yeah, I think we gotta opt into something. Not that. There we go. Okay. So we're good for next turn. They're not gonna path the hierarch. If they have a push, they'll do it. Wow. Um, I'm just going to activate it. Wait, crap. It's already targeted it, so this will not... Okay, that's fine. Um, for the future, this is the first time I've encountered that interaction. I think maybe even on their upkeep I want to activate it. But the fact that they're not... The fact that they're not, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> um, the fact that they're targeting this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we could wait to get and get carry and call, but I think I like making blockers more. So 
So then when we carry and call, it will be, um, there'll be two twos. And two twos are way better than one ones, especially when they have an infect. Yep, just gonna jump. I think it's better to hold that to block. I mean, I guess, I guess he's afraid of our growing plant tokens. Pressuring Nissa isn't the worst. That's that is probably the right play. Sure. So they're only holding open dismember potentially. Ooh, is this abilities or just spells? Okay, um, so yeah, Carrion, Carrion calls the plan. Ooh, almost in plus. That would have been bad, that would have been real bad. Are they gonna attack with Vent again? Oh, this is great. This is the best. Sh Shaper Sanctuary is really showing off right here. Okay. So we could Spell Pierce, force them to tap two, but they don't, I'm very positive they don't have another card in hand. So we're gonna carry and call. And they can take one of our many pump spells. It really doesn't matter. So as you saw, kind of game one, this is a very hard matchup to win. Um, with the addition of Shaper Sanctuary, though, it uh, it shores up a lot of a lot of it. Game oh, opponent disconnected. No. Okay, so they're tilting a bit. Um, I think they know the jig is up, and they are. Uh, they've lost. They don't. They don't have an answer in hand. I'm assuming. Um, so they're gonna just time out for ten minutes. I guess what we're going to do is well, I don't have a pen nearby and. I'm kind of doing this live, so I would write down their name, uh, F-R-E-K-E-1083, -E I'll try to remember that. I think it shows up in my game history. This is a reportable offense, and I encourage you guys, if people disconnect, I mean, this could also be a very legitimate disconnect, and they could come back, and if they do, I'm obviously not going to report them. But if they disconnect and time me out for 10 minutes and then they stop, basically, they're, if they're just wasting my time, this is this is something I highly encourage you to do. To It's really the only defense we have against uh, people like this online. Um, you uh, just give Wizards customer service, MTGO customer service, an email, tell them what happened, and uh, it's uh, it goes on permanent record, basically. So... Um, like I said, that's if someone is um, malignantly doing this, and uh, it appears as though this person is. Um, so yeah, uh, Shaper Sanctuary, very good in any matchup that wants to target your creatures. As you saw, we drew infinite cards. We didn't. We didn't even need to have two of them. One of them would have been fine. You can draw into answers, and honestly, they have to. They have to target their your stuff to remove them to to win basically to not lose so they're priced into doing it and i think old tom the boss ross is onto something with sanctuary in the sideboard uh, i think it's very good so yeah next turn we were going to down tick groundswell groundswell they they probably take groundswell but we have pendlehaven to, to pump and distortion strike to make the other one unblockable and um i don't think that's lethal one two three four Five, six, seven, eight. Actually, yeah, it is lethal. So we would win. Um, yeah. 
Um, I think here I'm probably going to cut. We got 10 more minutes of waiting on my end. Um, I'll probably bring it back when they've officially timed out and lost. And welcome back to Tier Fun. Uh, as you can see, opponent uh, disconnected intentionally. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I reported them to uh, Magic Online. Um, like I said earlier, I highly recommend if you have an inkling that opponent is being is intentionally disconnecting because they've especially because after they've been salty earlier in chat they've seen my hand they, they know that i'm gonna win next turn um the only uh way we have to fight back against this is to report them and i encourage any and everyone who's watching this to do so to if that ever happens to you uh do not go buck wild with it Sometimes disconnections do happen. Um, it's happened to me before, back when I first started playing online. Uh, I had a less stable connection, and I've disconnected and come back and chat and be like, oh my god, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, and sometimes I actually haven't been able to establish a connection again. So, you know, I tend to give, I give everyone the benefit of the doubt when it comes to things like these. Um, but... I think that was that was a pretty obvious intentional disconnect. Uh, you may disagree with me, and I welcome any discussion about that. But I'm 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 pretty confident that was a uh, someone who was pretty salty about the match, just trying to waste time. Um, unfortunately, or unfortunately, I guess we had that during a recording, so uh, wasted my time recording a little bit, but. You know, now the word is out there. If you ever encounter that person, to be aware of potential um, intentional disconnectings. Um, but yeah, um, despite the unfortunate ending to that match, I think you saw Shaper Sanctuary showed off in the best possible light. Um, especially like opponent's deck, black white control. Um, they might have Wrath of God, but like they don't, they're not, it's not like blue white control where they've, you know, they have four Wrath of Gods. They have Gideon who targets your creatures and they have all targeted removal spells. So um, that's the matchup and Jeskai control, or maybe Jeskai tempo. Oh, another no lander. Tom, I was wrong. I was wrong, Tom. This should be a land. Um, Usually I wait till the end to tell people that I've made bad deck building decisions, but this this should be a land. I've we've had so many iffy keeps. This can't even keep this one. This is malarkey. Um well maybe we can keep this one. We get a draw. We get a scribe, we get a draw, and we get another scry and a draw. So yeah, let's keep it. It's not a safe keep, but we get scry, draw, scry, draw. We get four looks at a second land. Um, we have 17 more in the deck. Yeah, that, that's good. It's one of those things, it's like you play long enough that you, you try to get a feel for... Ooh, a mirror? It's like I haven't run the numbers, and I don't have a hyper, whatever, hyper geometric calculator, but... I think the odds are in my favor. Oh, this might just be the straight-up mirror. This is exciting. Um, yeah, okay. So, cool. Um, this is my first Infect mirror, so be prepared to, for me to make a lot of uh, crap decisions. <laughs> but we'll laugh our way through them, and we'll learn a little bit by the end. So, Blighted Agent, I think, is the best card in the matchup, I'm assuming. Um, might as well shock, I'm not going to... We also have a pretty early... Um... Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's not, it's not the mirror. This is a, this is a Bant deck, and that is all that I know about it. 
Mm -hmm. So here, I don't think I should have played that land. I probably should have opted first. I think we're just going to play out our hierarchs. They're so far just blue-green. I'm sure they have collected company. Um, if I had a way to protect my agent, I don't think I would have played it. I don't think I would have tapped like that. I think I would have kept up, kept up a blue or a green. So we're on a quick clock here. Five turns. We, given the makeup of our hand, though, I think we can beat that, assuming nothing changes. And you know, it's magic. Nothing ever changes. So we've already won this game. No path. Path is alright, I guess. I should have stuck with my guns. No path! <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. So, I'm expecting to see some Knight of the Reliquary action. Um... Ah, oh, gross. I'm going to... I'm going to regret playing that. My goal was to fetch before I scried, which is um, usually a pretty good play with other decks, with my experience with Serum Visions decks. It's horrible for this, because our lands are our threats. Are some of our best threats. So if we draw it here... Oh! <laughs> okay. That sucks. That sucks a lot. But we can attack through this at least. Ooh. Oh, we got a nice opponent. Um, um, let's F2. Just tell him it's Tom. So far, Tom Ross deck. Uh, Okay. Uh, opponent was interested in opt, and I told him so far so good, but you know, I haven't played too much. Tom knows best. Yes, yes, he does. So, look, Magic Online is like any online uh, environment. Uh, it's not always sunshine and rainbows, but there's good people out there, and I think opponent, Notorious underscore Ed, is one of them. So, that's nice. Um, I'm not going to block. Opponent could just activate Kessig Wolf Run and make it irrelevant, fetching for a red source. We're in a crapola spot. No, my opt. We didn't need that. Scavenging use is pretty good against Become Immense, though. So I think we just gotta draw another groundswell and hope they don't have hope they don't have another path. And we'll find out if they do. Should have waited on this for their turn. Spell queller, okay. Um so yeah, we're passing. We could have attacked into it, but I'm sure I'm sure they're getting ready here. Yeah. So we might just be dead. Sure. Opponent aggressively eating our graveyard because they know become immense is a card. They don't know we have it in hand, but they're smartly playing around it. Smart and thin. So Spell Queller is not the best card. And by that I mean I'm not happy at all to see it. 
Um, so this is four, five, six, seven. This takes two to activate. Six, seven, eight. So we go to one. Um, it does mean they have to tap out a Queller. So yeah, I think, I think we're okay with that if they want to do it. They decide not to, also smart. Hold up your spell queller so nothing bad happens. So opponent's playing this really well, They're not giving us any any windows to um, windows of opportunity. Wolf runs a real beating here. We would have a shot, I think, if they didn't have trample. Um, we obviously don't need that. Got it anyways. Thanks, Moto. I think we're just going to have to jam it. We're 100% dead next turn, so we might as well go for it. Opponent also has Kasali Pride Mage activation, so they've got a million ways to blow us out here. Um, they're rightfully thinking about this, though, because we also have... Um, if we have... Uh, if we have two... I mean, there's really... We need, we need a way to make our guy unblockable. We need a way to give them Hexproof. And, uh, yeah... The opponent just went through the numbers in their head and realized that even if we do, we don't we don't have we have three cards in hand. We don't have enough. And in my desire to be jovial or to be a pleasant a person, I told them this was a Tom Ross build, so they might actually be familiar with this list. So they know we we're not. I mean, Tom's not going to run any remains, so he knows that to expect something normal. So actually, this is bad for the opponent. So if we had, um, if we had a way to, if we had Apostle's Blessing here, they should have waited. They should have just, they should have, in the, the attack step, tried to kill it, and it would have worked. Yeah, they still win. They still win, but they should have waited, they should have held up Queller until the last possible second. But they don't get punished because we don't have it all. Um, so this is an interesting one. This deck is more, I assume this is like a, it just looks like Bant Coco. I don't think it's Bant Spirits. Um, I think Shaper Sanctuary is actually still going to be all right. Maybe not on the play, though. Um... Do we want to just go for it again? Um, they have scavenging ooze, and I assume they also have other. So we're taking those two out. We don't need this. Piracy charm seems good to get rid of their assorted duders. I don't think dismember is actually kind of good against um, Knight of the Reliquaries, but. I don't think we want to run it. I could be very wrong about that. Um, we don't need Dryad Arbor, Nature's Claim, Gambit. I don't think we need to sell out hard because they're they've these are for decks that want to go long and don't have much of a clock. Um, this might not be the worst, but it feels really bad against. Uh, Spell Queller. That card just blew me out. I should remember its name. Um, so Spell Pierce is not doing much, actually. So we're just going to upgrade those to Dispels for targeted removal and uh, their Cocos, which I'm assuming they have. Okay, we got turn one Elf.
Um, I wonder if against all three colored decks, if I should just bring in the Dryad Arbor, just because they're going to take so much damage that it's worth it, that the secondary damage plan is actually a good idea. We're going to play the Elf here because it's more damage efficient, not mana efficient. I mean, I guess it's in terms of mana, it's the same play, but in terms of available mana next turn, like... We're going to get the bonus from Hierarch, and it's okay if we skip a land drop. If we skip two, we're going to be hurting. Once again, if I had a um, a way to protect my elf... Okay, we're good. If I had a way to protect my elf, I probably would have saved it. Okay, real good. So, let's play that here. Um... If they don't block, I'm going to Groundswell. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm going to hold up the spell. We have Distortion Strike to make life miserable if they block. So we are in a very good spot here. It's unfortunate that we're going to miss out on landfall, but we don't have to play it next turn. Ooh. Oh, okay. We might not miss out on landfall. If opponent doesn't have a land, they do. So uh, I think that was lethal. Four, five, six, seven. No, they were put to one. Okay. So we get to save it. So they need to do something here. Distortion Strike is going to kill them next turn. Um, no reason to go for anything here. It's not lethal, so nine might as well be zero, or nine might as well be nothing. Especially when we only have one Glistener Elf, one an Infector. Drawing a Shaper Sanctuary would have felt nice that turn. Okay, okay. So if opponent has two removal spells, one of which is, both of which aren't damage based. So we can save through pump. Three? Kitchen Finks? I hope it's good. Ooh, okay, yeah, we're good here. Yeah, opponent's not going for the path or anything here, which means they don't have interaction. Um... Rebound. Um, we're playing... I think Tom's playing Distortion Strike over Rancor because of we're heavier on blue. Um, we're just going for it here. Groundswell. Yeah. Um, we could have fetched there, but it's going to be lethal, and I know opponent doesn't have the spell, so... It's uh, it just saves a microcosm of a second there. Um, do I want piracy charm over spell pierce? So we were right about Knight of the Reliquary, which is good. Um, we could bring in Graveyard Hate. I just I think we're faster than them. So as long as they don't have, as long as they're not able to hold hold open, um, Queller. Three like, okay. We know we've had much worse sixes and much worse fives that we've had to keep, that we have kept. This has every land that we need. We get, we're on the draw and we get an opt and a peak. And we have two blossoming defenses, which are great. We don't have an infector and if there's not one, I 
think I'm keeping this. This is where I wish Tom Ross was right here over my sh sh shoulder, sorry. <laughs> right here over my shoulders telling me, dude, no. This is a horrible hand. Don't keep this. You know what? Yeah. Shouldn't have kept this. All I had to do was think about Tom for a second. Tom's not Tom's not keeping this hand. If this is a six, I think Tom might keep it. I don't, I don't think Tom's keeping the seven. And neither should I. And neither should you. Bird. Come on, piracy charm. Okay, um, we're gonna jam that. I knew Hierarch was going to be on top, I wouldn't even thought about it. So it still gives us our draws to, to Glistener Elf. Might as well. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to fall into the same trap I did last time. Well, we're going to make that mistake once. We don't need that land. Um, okay. So this leave, if we play it here, it's going to be open to... He also has open... I think we're going to wait a turn because we have Blossoming Defense. There's also Spell Queller up, so there's no reason to get too, too greedy. They don't have a big clock down, and Blighted Agent is A-plus in this matchup. I didn't play much standard when Queller was around, so I've kind of had to take my lumps in modern to get used to playing against it. Still not great at it, but I'm learning. That's all you can really ask for. So they have Coco up. Not attacking again. What do you got over there, opponent? So I was right about Queller. They also have Pride Mage and Collected Company. So that stinks. I guess that's a big reason to uh, have just jammed there. So we're going to sacrifice this hierarch for the greater good. Hope opponents enticed to cast collected company or something. But yeah, we should have we should have kept his membrane. Okay, um, so we can cast. Just we can't cast distortion strike. We can cast a blossoming defense. Maybe opponent. Well, they can't block. No, I think I think we're just we're gonna try to find a way to get this blighted agent down. My kingdom for a spell pierce over to spell. So they jam it, rightfully so. Hopefully it's a big whiff. That's not a whiff. That's kind of a whiff. So we're eating six, potentially seven next turn. Dismember would be great, a great draw, but it is unfortunately in our sideboard, correct? Yeah. Oh, why did that not side you in? So they're not too far away from just being able to cast a wolf on us. They might actually, hmm, whoa, township. So yeah, I guess Piracy Charm is good, because if we can take them off of blue, we take them off Queller. Sure. Quellers changed the entire complexion of this game. Um, if there's no Queller, we get to play Blighted Agents down right now.
Taking six here, that's fine. We really we need to draw we need to draw something else with infect this turn. And for that reason I'm fetching. Come on. Oh, where were you earlier? Um one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we could try to go for it. Opponent. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got them scared enough to cast it. Sure. Unfortunately, I cast uh, that one. I don't think they would have quellered anything else, though, except for maybe Become Immense. And I really, I think I'm going to rely on that, be relying on that. So, Agent's going to get in for one, two, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we have to block Knight of the Reliquary, I believe. Well, how many creatures are in the yard? No, no creatures in the yard. We have a dispel for any shenanigans. Okay, we might we might actually have this one. Um, opponents out is uh, eating our graveyard. Okay. So we might have to block scavenging ooze. Maybe we don't block scavenging ooze and just hope they don't do it. So one, two, three, four from if they, if they activate township. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen. So we could just block here and be good. They have one, two, three, four. They could demolish our graveyard. So we don't want that to happen. So let's see. Let's see. We. We, if we have these both alive, that's plus three, four, and ten. So we actually don't need Blossoming Defense. I hope there's just a Collected Company in hand they'd rather cast. So the play here is definitely Eat My Yard. I have no idea if this block is telegraphing too much either. So I assume they're getting a green here and they can eat everything. Yeah, maybe that was actually a false line of thinking on my part. So there's no way, let's say there's no way Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So if we draw one, okay, yeah. So if they go to eat, we're gonna just become immense. We have to tap out for it, but that's the spot we're in. Okay, so make sure we're make sure we're targeting the right thing. I don't want to lose because of that.
So they might as well eat our Become Immense too. Yep, we got it. Sweet. That was uh, that was tight. I don't think I don't think opponent needed to concede there. I think they just did it. Well, we would have won anyways, but I think they just did it because um, they didn't maybe necessarily see this line and they were a little upset. Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe they just thought they were dead. Um, but yeah, that's, that was a great win. We, uh, we had, that was our only out, I believe, with scavenging news on the field and we, we had to see that line. Oh wait, we lost? What did I miss? View replay. Oh, Knight of the Reliquary. I made the wrong block. Oh, man. Okay, we should have won that one. Oh, oh, oh. Kicking myself over that. I'm sure you guys were too. Whoop. Let's, uh, let's not get the OBS. Oh, man. Okay, that one hurts. That one hurts. Yeah, I was like, that's a weird time to concede, all the while just not, <laughs> not even reading that we lost. So obviously, um, not only am I new to playing this deck and uh, playing against Spellqueller, Knight of the Reliquary is a bit new for me uh, too, uh, if, if that was obvious, wasn't obvious at all. So the play there was to block uh, Knight of the Reliquary, and then do that block, and then that gives us one turn, which we would have had enough, because it would have been two pumps from the higher arc, plus a pump from Pendlehaven. That's four total, and then we would have had Mutagenic, um, Blossoming Defense, Blossoming Defense. There's a chance we might not have had enough life for that, but regardless, that was the wrong thing. That was we shouldn't we shouldn't have blocked it. We should have blocked the one we should have blocked. Um, yeah, this looks great. It looks good. It doesn't look great. So yeah, I uh, big old uh, punt. And uh, a deck like this, the your margins for winning are either so huge it doesn't matter how you play, or they're so thin you got to play. Perfect. And I did not play perfect that round. We're going to lose our Blighted Agent here. But Dismember is actually pretty good against um, Death Shadow. As long as they're on the... Um, um, Delve guy strategy. We're leading with Ink Moth just so we can get in some Infect next turn. Because we're not doing anything else. Looks like they might be on the uh, Delve Guy strategy. Well, I mean, that's what they're playing anyways, regardless. So Death Shadow in the yard, that's one less we have to worry about. They're tapped out as well, so we can just... I think we want to play this Nexus. It doesn't really matter, but that, it'll have them both available to attack next turn. The chance I should have... Well, no, because I could, if I had one more land, I would want to probably... As well, do they have gut shot. What are they waiting for? Out of coffee. Sorry for that slurp. Oh. It's a sad day when you're out of jail. So next turn we're just gonna attack for one again. We'll have ground swell up if they try to bolt us, but I don't think they will. Opponents in the tank, um, that usually means one of two things. A, they're winning this turn. Or B, they're trying to figure out a way not to die quickly. And I don't think they're winning this turn, so 
I think we've got him on the ropes. Which is something we need after that big old punt last time. Oh, oh my god. Thoughtsies. Okay, they get our ground swell. Or dismember if they have a uh, Delph creature. Or Apostle's Blessing. If they're planning on interacting with us. So, five, put them to six. I think it's better just to play Glistener Elf. That way we have more threats next turn. It's basically the decision there is what card would you um, rather not get discarded. And maybe Ground Spoil is that card, but because we already have two Infectors, looks like we're lagging a bit, or they're lagging a bit. But I still, I like getting out as many threats as possible to make it hard for them to attack us. All right. Opponent's going in the tank. Misplays are always bad, and they're also really make you feel bad when you're recording. But, okay, good. So, them using push there is great. It's, we'd much rather get that push than this. Um, so, we're not attacking with both because we want to leave up ground swell. Let's just cycle. Okay, so now. I think now we do ground swell. We'll take two. So we have two infect coming at them next turn. So any pump spell wins us the game. They have red now though. So maybe holding that swell was better. I don't know. I just didn't want to get. I didn't want to get discarded. I thought we were playing with fire, holding it that long. Tapping the red. Okay. Well, that means. Okay, we can just dismember that. So they could have stubborn denial. In fact, it seems very likely that they do. Interesting. We could also just go for the win. So we fetch a forest, activate, activate, swing in. They try to push one of our guys, we win. They don't, we just dismember and win next turn. That, that seems good. So sometimes Death Shadow has draws like these. They're not bad draws at all. That's part of the reason why the deck's so good. But just Infect is just quick enough to, to punish them for not having the quickest quick draw. Pushing now. So we're just gonna conserve two lethal attackers next turn. So they need they need uh they need another way to deal with they need two ways to deal with this. And they have three mana now, and the absolute perfect way to deal with it is uh Colgan's command. Okay, so we're walking the tightrope. They're definitely representing it. They could also be representing Snapcaster. I think we have to go for it, though. Like, we could wait, but we don't have much time. Maybe, maybe we just play around it by attacking with one. Is that worth it? 
We're dead. We're, we're just as dead to one removal spell. It's, it's what do you want to play around? Snapcaster of Colgan or Colgan's command? And I think Snapcaster is more likely. Like, you know, it stinks. It stinks a lot if they have Colgan's command. But you have to play. You have to play around what's most likely. And Snapcaster Mage is played as a four of in these decks, and Colgan's Command is a one to two of. So if they get us, they get us. Looks like they got us, yep. And I know you're probably thinking, well, they shocked, but I mean, wouldn't you shock even if you didn't have it? Like, I would. Anything that makes me not attack, basically. And it's Death Shadow, so it's like, what are you really losing? So, yep, we got blown out there, but I think that I think you have to make that attack. I guess you don't if you have the Stone Cold Reed, but I don't know. I'd, I'd rather play the percentages. Um, Island Walk, discard a card, plus two, minus one. That does nothing here. Could help our Glistener Elf get through, but yeah. This is one of those matches that you'd ask your opponent, I'd ask my opponent, like, well, did you have Snapcaster at least? I don't like, I wouldn't have felt so bad. Oh no! Opponent's taking forever. I actively don't want them to discard cards because that just fuels their delve. Um, so they're just gonna get down a Snapcaster here. We're gonna spell Pierce whatever this nonsense is. Sorry. Oh no, that's not the spell. And then we're also gonna piracy charm it because we're at eight. We're very close to dying. And the fact that they tapped out there for um, Snapcaster Serum Visions says to me that their hand is a little bit wanting, so we might be able to draw out of it, give it enough time. This is good if we draw a Gl Glistener Elf. We have to draw it next turn, though, if they have another Delve Threat. Opt. Opt is great here. Ink Moth is good. We'll keep it. Pony, you're killing me. Lack of coffee, you're killing me. <laughs> well, wish that was a protection spell. No reason to have not cast it any of these times. Opponent's just going to cast it the time where it hurts us the most. Oh, it hurts. It hurts the most. Um, we're not going to play this land. Thinning at this point is a shrug. And the one life might make a difference. I guess the two cards in hand doesn't really make much of a difference. Oh, if we had just waited one turn. With most decks, it's easy for me to separate. It's easier for me to separate results. And I guess that's because I have more experience with them. But I'm questioning literally every single play I make. And I guess we probably should have waited on the binds. So you're going to Thought Scour? We should have waited for something like this, because we have, well, there's Apostle's Blessing. 
So we only have another spell pierce and three more blossoming defenses. I guess maybe it's not good to wait there. They're floating out. I could do it. That's the one thing against Death Shadow. In fact, the, the second plan, plan B gets a whole lot easier. So they're gonna Snapcaster Terminate. Um, the fact that if we let, ooh, Colgan's Command, it's even better. I was actually thinking if I should cast this Distortion Strike or not. So yeah, if we go down to three, we're dead to Lightning Bolt. I don't think they have Lightning Bolt. Return, ooh, returning Snapcaster. So then they'll have access to Terminate for our next guy. Okay, well in that case, no, we do, we do still have to save it. Just because we're at such a low life. Um, Cause yeah, we would go down to, uh, we would go down to zero, I guess. I didn't see they were targeting us with the two damage. So yeah, we definitely needed to save it. But even if we didn't, they'd have a Snapcaster in hand, and we'd go down to six, let's say, and they would discard something. Well, that works too. Okay, well, we got close, but we didn't get there. This, however, is a matchup where Shaper Sanctuary should shine. <laughs> Once again. Um, Carrying Call seems good too. No, I don't think Nyssa is quite where we want to be. Actually, maybe it is, because Nyssa makes everything a threat. And chumps forever. Um, we also, I think we want this. And I don't think Spell Pierce is what we want. I think we want to upgrade that for the spells. And we might also want Old Tezzeret's Gambit. So those are all the maybes. Um, Dissenter's Deliverance can go. Piracy Chomp is medium, even though, you know... It has its uses. Vines is okay. I think we probably want to shave on um, pump spells. Um, need four more cuts. Distortion Strike seems good to get through their blockers. Bossling Defense seems great. So maybe let's cut a ground swell. End up two ground swells? That doesn't seem right. Maybe we shave and since I can't think of anything more, I haven't been able to just side in this Tezzeret, so I think it's probably not good. Um Let's rid ourselves of the peaks, I suppose. Well, we can keep one. That's 60. Let's look at it. These two cards are really good against what they're trying to do. This card answers. Maybe we don't want an answer, because this is an answer. I like this. We're just going to slow it down. Slow it down. Slowing it down. We're keeping this on the back of Shaper's Sanctuary. We're just gonna expect it to draw us into stuff, and we're gonna also expect to draw stuff. Uh, we have an answer for an early delve threat. And uh, yeah, this is, um, this is an acceptable seven. I don't want to mulligan this because it has Basically one, two, three, four, five, six good cards in the matchup. We're missing, obviously, the one thing that makes this deck functional, infect creatures, but 
If we can draw one of those, we're going to be doing good. And, I mean, your win percentage takes a, takes a dive each time you mulligan. Um, I tend to only ship really atrocious sevens. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. Um, well, <laughs> I ship atrocious sevens and I keep atrocious sevens if they have good cards in the matchup. And I think these are all great, including that. Or these are all great cards in the matchup. Delve threat, we're just gonna dismember it and move on. Take our medicine. Draw delve. Oh, mother flipper. That being said, though these cards are all good, you really need an infect creature to keep a hand. So. I think my inexperience in this deck is punishing me here. Um, there's nothing we even wanted to spell. Pendlehaven was the actual worst draw. Fetchland would have been good because we could have got, could have started beating down with an arbor. The spell's going to be nice for the eventual Colagon's command. Ooh, if they have another Delve Threat, though, we are in a hot spot. Looks like they do. Okay. So, um, Infect Creature or Bust here? Opt is next best thing. Infect creature, infect creature, infect creature. Oh, come on, opponent. You're killing me. You're killing me here. Sorry, I'm sure that was probably a little annoying. Do not need that. Not an infect creature, but I'll take it. Um... I'm going to play Pendlehaven here. Fuel's Delve. Um, we can actually block. We're not going to we're not going to do it this turn. Actually, we're not going to do it any turn. So we just needed to fade that angler maybe one one or two turns more than we have. So it's going to be real tight here. So we're on a four-turner. Um, ideally, I'd like to Blossoming Defense, a targeted removal spell, and draw a card. Well, draw the card first. Sequencing, sequencing, my, my guys. Okay. They have another Delve guy here. We're, we're done, though. Um, gosh, this is brutal. So. Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We could, we could go to seven. Um, so we attack here. What beats us if we attack here? I don't think we can do anything except ping for one and hope to draw land so we have a protected lethal next turn. That sounds all right. Am I blossoming defense here?
just to try to draw out. Well, we'll do it in the block step at least. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to Blossoming Defense to save it. And they're going to push and we're going to Dispel. Ooh, ah. Okay, well, do we need this guy to survive? We're going to lose this exchange regardless. Mm, so that was a blow. That was something to think about with Snapcaster Mage and Stubborn Denial. Um, so they're going to push us regardless. Do we need it to survive? Say so next turn we draw an infect creature. So we don't need it to survive. We're taking 5, then 10. Okay. I suppose, I mean, because it's not going to survive. I, I guess that was like, do we want to spend a dispel to draw a card? Which maybe we did. Oh, no, I really wish I did. Yep. I'm gonna make sure to draw an extra card at the end of this game. So we're dead next turn to a lightning bolt. Oh, good gravy, you're a bad draw here. So, but you can see, you can see how this would have been good though, if uh, we'd had Pendlehaven land. Uh, being able to chump this forever is very good. You can kind of see what Tom's thinking about with that in the sideboard. Summer Denials is still a very good magic card. So now we're essentially drawing dead. We could, we need to draw Forest because we're going to be cut off of Fetch Lands. And then we can cast Nyssa and maybe Chump for long enough to be okay, but we're not winning this game. Really got to make sure to draw that card, see if it would have mattered. Talk about results oriented, but. Okay, um, we can jump here, I suppose. Jump into forest into infect creature i don't i can't even i'm having to really stretch the limits of my imagination yep so yeah we're dead here ggs um i think if we drawn sanctuary earlier oh yeah draw that card Opt. Spellskite? Nah. Nope, nope, nope. So we should be... I'd have to go back and rewatch that. You guys are watching it with a clearer head than I am, but I think we should be two and two here. The deck is so far... Um, been a little underwhelming. Uh, I haven't... I haven't really felt... A part of it is my lack of comfort with the deck, and I'm going to I'm going to grind more with it after this recording just to see see if I want to record more with it in the future. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I think I like the idea behind Opt in 
in fact, I think this this build, uh, and I'm sure Tom Ross would probably disagree with me because this is his build. I think this build is a little bit in between. I think if you want to be, I think if you want more blue, there's a there was a Salta in fact list that had five O league um, maybe last month or a couple weeks ago or something along those lines that was running uh, disrupting troll and two people five O'd with it. So uh, it was running more evasive creatures. It had plague stinger and uh, blighted agent uh, eight flyer evasive infectors. So I think maybe if you want to run a disrupting shoal build, maybe that's where you want the opt. Um, maybe try to build it more like Legacy Infect. I think Legacy Infect is a little bit slower than um, actual Infect, than well, modern Infect. And uh, they're more resilient because of um, Force of Will and the like. So uh, if we have Modern's Force of Will, maybe that would help this deck out. Uh, another thing that would help this deck out is... Honestly, and you know, you're tempted to say these things. We're going to keep this. You're tempted to say these things when it's happening to you. So maybe this is maybe this is um, not true. But it feels like we have been getting... I don't think we've got like one good hand <laughs> this entire... Like we've had some good post-board hands, but game one, I don't think we've had a good hand. Valica, this has to be a good matchup, right? Land. Um, my heart says to go with opt, but we're just going to try to race. My mind says to go with uh, opt. My heart says, no, what does my heart say? Ooh, well, that's not expected. Temple Garden? Ooh, okay, well, no, we have, we have to opt here. Nope, land. Thank you. So we're probably... We need another land. Uh, we want to play Groundswell. Anger of the Gods here, that's going to be huge. Oh, man. Man, we're just getting hosed. Maybe, maybe Infect isn't the best currently. I think there's a lot of good matchups for it. Wow, that's bad. Um, we're just gonna play Blighted Agent. There's a lot of good matchups for it. Yet again, Descender's Deliverance better as a land. Um, Eldrazi Tron, probably Tron has to be just an insane matchup. Eldrazi Tron, probably not pre-board. We have another one. Yeah, this seems like a Horrendous matchup. Um, well, if we draw land, that won't hurt us. We didn't. Um, okay. But we definitely saw the... We saw some bad matchups today. The um, I think that Bant matchup is pretty bad, too. Bant, Spell Queller is just really good against a deck that wants to be reactive. And the past couple of decks I've been playing... Spellcore has just been bonkers against it. Absolute bonkers. So I don't think I don't think the deck is as bad as we're seeing today. I think I'm getting a little bit unlucky and my relatively poor play. What is this? Another beast within? Hmm. Land? So, yeah, I think we've been getting unlucky, and also there's been spots where I could have played better. So, I think it showed off, I think it showed off the sideboard. Um, Shaper Sanctuary seems good, but I think perhaps this isn't the deck for it. Primetime? Um, yeah, targeting both my beasts? You got it, dude. I am so dead. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We're done, Zeb. 
So honestly, this matchup seems great if we can avoid the uh, anger of the gods. We don't want that. We don't need Pyrus of Charm. Um, Dryad Arbor seems fine. Maybe it's horrible. I think we just want to try to be quick with this one. Um, if Monastery of Siege was abilities also, that would be good, but it's not. Do we want Nyssa in there just as another threat? Do we want Shaper Sanctuary? Sa Sanctuary abilities also? Okay. Maybe we put two in there just because we don't have much to take out. I don't think we need peak either. Or at least we can take one peak and maybe we just bring in the sanctuary. The thing is, sanctuary is so horrendous against anger of the gods, and if they're valicutting us, we're losing anyways. <sighs> yeah, I don't think this is good. We'll just go with another threat for a post board wipe something that makes our threats better not only dispels that good and peak to cycle or just a dried arbor to get another threat so we got to dodge anger or we got to have apostle's blessing in hand gosh man so this would, I think this would be our best hand yet if one of these was a land that could cast those spells. This one isn't good, but okay, it got a lot better. So we're going to play, we're going to try to not play this breeding pool ever. So yeah, hopefully... Um, Hopefully they just don't have anger the gods. Um, we're gonna get the island. If we can take this to game three, I mean that's a ridiculous thing to say. Obviously, if we don't get to game three, we don't have a chance. But. I like our chances of stealing one if we get to game three. Uh, I loved our chances of stealing one this game, but we have not had a good hand. So, don't shock. Uh, uh, forest. Bury me with my forests. Wow, so this is um, not even... Balakut deck running path. That's kind of spicy. I approve. The more spice, the merrier in modern. So, Tribe Elder. Pendlehaven, great. Block and Sacrifice. We are likely about to get Anger of the Gods and then it'll be game over. Game over, man. Um, we're gonna fetch because, oh, no Anger. Prismatic Omen. So this is the spicy delicate build, obviously. I wonder if they have Bring the Light in here. Probably. I like this Farseek art. Farseek art. Kind of sounds like fart. That's what, you, that's what you reduced me to, Magic Online. Saying things sound like fart. Um, Dried Arbor attacks for one. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus six is 13. Um, let's just 
Let's see if we have an F4 first. Um, choose that one. Knight of Old Corsa. Um, one, two, three. One. I've just been downing on it, and now we are actual one turn away from winning, if they can't deal with it. <laughs> I mean, that's it right there. This is it right there, and that's why you want to play in fact, because it's so dang explosive. Like, you could feel... You, you saw me. I felt like I was infinite miles away from being anywhere close to winning this game. And now, I mean, they probably do have Anger of the Gods, but we're, we're putting them onto they needed to have Anger of the Gods. If they didn't, we win. Uh, we draw another Hierarch here. Well, we draw something here. Ink Moth. Now immediately regretting using all that burn, but... You know, such is life, and not burn. Uh, pump. Boop. Boop. Um... So we're still in an incredibly rough spot. I think our chances of winning this game are about as close to zero as you can get. Um, opponent just has to draw. Sure, beast within. Why would they beast with? They must have. They must have. They win in the end. So they just gotta slam the prime time they obviously have in their hand. Do they not? Did they punt that badly? There's no way. There's no way. I'm sure they have a plethora of answers. They're just trying to decide which one. A plethora being two. So yeah, we've been taking our lumps today. I, uh... Summoner's packed. Yep, you got it, guy. So everything's a mountain because of Prismatic Omen. It's kind of a, a combo. So they're going to get to kill both of my dudes. Uh, next turn, attack for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They could also have, just have a mountain in hand. And then go for two Valakuts, yeah. So yeah, we're just, we're 100% dead here. So, yeah. Um... That's a. Uh, oh, let's actually concede. That's a uh, Tom Ross's new Infectus desk. Disc. This isn't a disc. It's a deck. A deck list. Um, I think if you're gonna test it out, you should run the land that he ran instead of my Dissenter's Deliverance. Um, I got screwed on lands enough times that I I understand that this that's perhaps twenty lands is where we need to be here. Um, yeah, I don't, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to run this back in some, maybe do the head-to-head -head cues for a little bit, try to iron out the kinks, but I, I just think, I think maybe this is the kind of deck you want to take if you want to just spike a tournament, you're doing something powerful, hope they're not paired for Infect. It's like, uh, I think... I mean, it's like if it's not if you're not first, you're last sort of deck. Um, it's obviously capable of exploding out of nowhere and winning um, if you have the right temperament to play a deck like this. I think it is kind of positioned well. I say kind of because um, 
there's a lot of decks it's really hard to win against. And Shaper Sanctuary, I think I think I would play in the current meta, I would play Sanctuary over Wild Defiance. Um I'm not sure how much of an endorsement that actually is, because I mean Wild Defiance can get you like spell sky it can turn your your um your non infectors into lethal killers, but I I just think there's so much non bolt removal in the format that you don't want to be on Wild Defiance if you're on this deck. Um Tezzeret's Gambit, I love it in theory. I think though if it's not main deck, it's almost impossible to bring in because it comes in in matches where uh, I want to bring in these cards here, and usually I don't have enough room. Also, probably this too. So maybe this should just be main deck actually. But usually I don't have enough room for bringing in all of it. It requires some hard cuts. So this guy doesn't make it in. Like you want Tezzeret's Gambit to be in there, but I think if you can't find a spot for it main deck, you probably don't want to be running it. Um, the cool thing is it's a really cute answer to um, Chalice on 1. We didn't see that at all today. Um, we were kind of prepared to see Eldrazi Tron in these things. That's the deck I was kind of hoping to practice against, but uh, we didn't get it. But yeah, you can proliferate their stuff. So you can give them a poison counter and tick up their Chalice for 1. It's great. It's a really fun answer. And uh, I think Tom wrote about Tezzeret's Gambit a uh, previous article before a while ago. He said maybe there's a um, maybe there's a list of affinity that runs this runs more of these and main deck that just like tries to really slow it down. And I think I think that deck would look something like these guys main board. Um, maybe no dismember, no spell sky, maybe no peaks or stuff like. You twerk some things to slow it down. Um, Become Immense being your big spell. You might actually cut... Maybe you want more mutagenic growths and less um, ground swells. Just to fuel your graveyard faster and get in more chump, chump infect. Um, the deck is obviously powerful. We drew poorly, had bad luck, and misplayed a few times. I think... I think it doesn't take a stretch of imagination to imagine us going two and three today. We were one and four, which is absolutely good awful. Good awful. God awful. Um, I'm probably going to fiddle around with maybe the Tezzeret's Gambit main deck version, like Tom suggested. Um, and probably also fiddle, fiddle around with the Plague Stinger version. That is not how you spell Plague, I don't think. Yeah, but either way, I don't have Plague Stingers. Um, that seems like it'd be fun. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm probably not running this back exactly as it played out. Um, like, yeah, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope uh, you had fun. I uh, I had I always enjoy filming videos for you guys, but you know, it's always better when. Uh, it's always better when your deck's doing well. But yeah, that's um, Tom Ross, the boss's infect list. I think it's better than it performed. Uh, I encourage you to, if you have the cards, sleeve it up, goldfish a few times, get used to it. Uh, maybe don't jam it unless you're an infect guy uh, until you've in something big, until you've got your sea legs, because I don't think I would do that again.